Elizabeth from the Dishman Art Museum, and welcome to the 26th episode of Highlights from the Permanent Collection. Valentine's Day is coming up, and today we'll be discussing a sumptuous Rubenesque figure and our admiration for local Beaumonter Sam Dalio and fellow museum establishment McFadden Ward House. Sam Dalio was born and bred in Beaumont and also happens to be a Lamar alumni. During his time as a student in the 70s, he had the pleasure of studying under Jerry Newman, who we've also talked about just a few weeks ago. I asked Sam if he had any fond memories from taking Newman's life drawing class, to which he laughed as apparently Newman ran a tight ship. Sam's favorite lesson that he cherished from the class, though, was that even if there was a day when he couldn't quite get his work right, it meant that he was learning, and if he was learning, then he was becoming better. Newman encouraged Sam to explore the great masters as a student, which brings us to this piece he made at the time and his exploration of the work of Peter Paul Rubens. Rubens was born in 1577 and is considered to be one of the most influential artists of the Flemish Baroque tradition. He is most known for his style of fleshy subjects, so much so that the term Rubenesque was coined in reference of the voluptuous nudes his work often depicts. This particular drawing by Sam is inspired after one such woman from the Rubens work entitled Susanna and the Elders. Here is a look at a copy of the Rubens work from the Met in comparison. This story from the Bible was depicted by many artists throughout history and is one of a young woman's vindication from being falsely accused by lecherous old men. In Sam's version, we can see how she cowers and either way you travel down the line of her back whether it's downward in a depression or upward so that you land at the defeated expression Sam chose to give her. The element captures the roller coaster of the tale. There's nowhere for her to hide as she takes up the entire space, leaving her truly exposed narratively and visually. I think these design choices are what makes Sam's depictions unique and that he's capturing a different aspect than others in the past. Giving Susanna her due as the lone and most important subject in this drawing and in the story personally. After graduation in 76, Sam went on to work at a handful of art establishments in town until he landed at McFadden Ward House in 1983. In 2018, totaling a service of 35 years, he retired as curator of the 35,000 piece collection. Thank you for joining me this week in celebrating Sam Dalio and all he has done as a member of the community and all he continues to do. From the Dishman to you, we love you and we hope you have a happy Valentine's Day. See you later.